What's up, everybody? How are y'all doing? Welcome to VR Chat. My name is Angel, and this is Shadow of Gaming. So, to kind of give you guys an official update of where I've been and what I've been doing in a lot of the gaming realm. I mean, besides I stream pretty much Monday to Sunday, seven days a week. I don't know if you guys may have noticed, my streams may have been a little more sparse within the last couple days, last couple weeks. There's just been a lot that's been going on. Primarily here is where I've been in VR. Over the last month, I've been hanging out in a lot of the Japanese events. I've been practicing my Japanese, because what better way to practice another language than to speak it with people who speak it? Go figure, right? But of my, uh, on the topic of more languages that I've been speaking, it's this lang the language of music is also where I've been at, too. So, I don't know if you guys actually knew, I had another channel called Shadow of Productions, and that one's supposed to be more of my arts-based um, YouTube channel, which I will post on there every once in a while, but it's not really fleshed out as I normally do things. Okay, because I do things, but I don't promote it and share it as often as I should, and so that kind of causes a little bit of an issue for me as a content creator, and it happens. It happens. I've been doing my best on making more more videos for you guys. I have planned planned videos in the works, but I just haven't been able to enact and go through with them. Uh, again, editing is my main issue. As much as I want to do them, it's a challenge. And so it cuts out for my time of being proactive. Whereas when I use my stream time, I'm very active in doing what I do to go forward with what I want to make. Does that make sense? So, in the realm of it, VR Chat have been able to use it as a way of me practicing my music skills in DJing and performance and networking. Because when it comes down to it, I only do so much as a solo operator. I'm like, I do my damnedest to create stuff as a solo content creator. And I can get by, but. I'm stronger when I'm with a team, when it comes down to it. So that's that's where I've been. So if you've been keeping up with my live streams over on Twitch, you may have noticed I've been in a couple. I've had a couple of DJ concerts already. We've I've joined a group called Monochrome, where we are currently building worlds as well as teaching people how to do things here, from Blender to Unity, to, in my case, giving other performers a chance to take a stage. So I've been working on booking more DJs. I've been connecting with DJs from around the globe, from not just here on the West Coast, but also from the East Coast, from Japan, from... Uh, we had one from Amsterdam at our last event, so yeah. And then just every genre, too. That's Porter Robinson. Dun, dun, dun. Da, 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 da. Nice. So that's that's where I've been lately, and I was working I was working on another video where I would kind of help you guys delve into the realm of VR and teach you guys like the common etiquette, but it's 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 very. It's not to the standard I want, nor is that the capacity that I'm able to accomplish it at. Like I said, I'm very good at being more improvised and just kind of speak from the mind, speak from the heart when it comes down to it. I'm I'm more along that realm of a content creator. It's why I'm stronger on Twitch versus stronger on YouTube. Like YouTube, it's if I'm going to make the content there, I have to be a lot more thought out and drawn out. That's rather than like reactive type content if you guys want a reaction from me just go watch me over on twitch i mean like yeah i stream for six hours a day minimum and i do this monday to sunday seven days a week right so that that's that's how most of my nights go and then after i'm done with my stream i hop into here in vr and do so much more work here because it's so fucking fun it's so satisfying and i love being in here and just here i feel the opportunity where I can grow as a creator of what I want to do. Like, 
my vision of stuff I want to create, it's both right there, it's still so far, but the path is showing its way. And everything I want out of it is in here. I'm working on it. I'm working hard on it. It's still... The thing about being a content creator, guys, that's difficult, is the process. The process is always the hardest and scariest thing. Where it's uncertain. You don't know... You don't know what's next. You have an idea of what you want, but it's not there. Sorry, I'm trying to like fix the camera here. Because I'm trying to grab... Okay, so I have like a... It's funny, because the way how VRChat's camera, uh, camera system works is... I set my camera to local, so it's just floating in front of me. That way, if I turn around, you guys are following me in whatever direction I'm facing. Anyways, enough tutorials. I mean, I could teach you guys how to use VR when VR does come... when you Whenever you guys get the chance to use VR. I'm at a really weird Dutch angle, but it's okay. I tend to Dutch angle a lot of my photos anyways. So yeah, hold on, what's that? Auto level, I need that. So when you get the chance and you you do use VR, um, there's a lot of nuance to it. Incredibly, like so much nuance. And that was like the big thing of like my next YouTube video that I was creating was to teach you guys the etiquette here in VR chat. It is like, yes, this game, this is labeled as a game, but it is so much more. It is a platform. It is a medium that you guys can use in more ways than just playing a game. Yes, there are game worlds you can go through that you can have fun with. Like how a couple weeks ago, uh, Natako Tachi and I, we went to go play, um, what's it called? Tower Defense. Uh, a couple days, er, um, a couple days ago, my friend uh, Kessere took me to like this really fun tank world where like we got to like play with like toy tanks and use like a laser pointer kind of thing to do that. So yeah, we there are games in this world, in this universe. It's fun, for sure. But it's also it's a social space. For me as an extrovert, it's my way of being able to meet people. And I love doing that. And before I started getting into the DJ scene here in VR, a lot of what I did was I would go into public worlds, stock, start, not stock, start talking. I was going to try to say start talking to random people and just kind of get different perspectives of the world. Things from outside of my own bubble here in where I'm at. And so that's how I met amazing content creators like Nibla. Like Leshy. If it wasn't for this game, I wouldn't have met them. And I wouldn't be part of their communities. And they wouldn't be part of ours. And so I give a lot of credit to that, to this game. This game has, well, yeah, like I said, VRChat has expanded much more than from when I first started on here. Where VRChat was just... It was just a, a, a new and exciting thing. Because... When VRChat first came out, it was just the early days of the Oculus Rift. Back then, they didn't have all this cool crap that I'm in now. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about of how how much VRChat has blown up. How much there is now available in terms of worlds, in terms of people, in terms of just the creativity and how much of an art platform this place is. And how beautiful it can be in here. But also, no matter which way you go, there is both a good side and a bad side. And everything in between to it. And so, I want to make sure you guys find the good that is in here in VR chat, The parts that you can use to help you escape the worries of the real world that we're facing right now. That's the big thing. And me being me, being me being me, as a, uh, as an existentialist, as a, what's it called? 
philosopher, as an artist, as a creator, and as someone of many different mediums, is that the real world sucks. There's no other way I could put that. So, where... <laughs> Hold on, let me... <laughs> Let me, <coughs> let me let me let me fix my uh let me fix my phrasing there. Everything that's been going on in our world right now has been a huge, huge, huge issue, and there's just so many like this and that and this and that that I just don't want to deal with. I want progress. I want to hear what are you doing next? What are you creating? What are you? doing to better yourself what are you doing to like do more what can we do to do more and so last year um my friend one of my friends in the edc rave base group when insomniac was doing a um the vir their virtual festivals i made a gr friend uh, friend group called the rave base because we want to meet up at edc electric daisy carnival and um in real life and so we would um we would talk about like how during the during the plague back then in in Europe how after that there was a huge boom a huge spike in the arts you know the renaissance we're building that renaissance in here right now in this space and that's what we're doing with it and i'm doing what i can to leave my mark in there as well i want to play my part i want to help create stuff in here i'm limited by my own capabilities and i'm trying my hardest to go forward and create more and just do more and be more so i can just have something out there and so yeah i've always loved the arts and this is where I can be to do it. Where I'm not limited to just myself now. I have a team I can work with. And yeah. There's so much I want to do in here. Because right now I'm actually, thanks to Twitch's recent payout, I'm one step closer to getting to being able to do motion capture. Because <laughs> I don't know if I ever told you guys this. I mean, I say it every other stream, like how I met Monty Ohm from Red vs. Blue from Dead Fantasy many years ago. When I saw what he did with Dead Fantasy, I knew I wanted to do that too. To wear like a full-on motion capture suit, you know, do the cool like kung fu action sequences. And like what he did with Ruby. I want to do that myself. And so I've been saving up to get Slime VR. And slime is like the cheapest option I ha have um, in terms of getting full body tracking. So that way you can actually see everything below this half and then you can start seeing my feet <clears throat> and doing all of that. So that way I can start dancing around in VR and then eventually just do more subtle things. Just walking around, stepping. Because right now I look down at my feet and it's just like I'm, I'm stuck to like a limited side to side walk animation sorry my nose this is a this is a little heavy of a topic for me so i've always wanted to do motion capture and just you know be a stunt actor in that way to help coordinate and choreograph um stunts like that uh that's why like before i even came here i was also doing parkour and rock climbing and stuff so i can build my fitness you know but now here like i also want to dance too and like i just want to like if I'm listening to um to any of my friends play, like say uh, Bishamon, Kesare, Jess Putin, um, uh, Sarah Akai, just the ones I can name off the top of my head, Moe, the Lon, you know, all you guys, Ohm, especially Ohm, like I'd love to be out there on the dance floor and just dancing to your guys' music, you know, because I'm a very expressive person that. I can only do so much in so many ways where I can only say so much before my words get redundant, before just something. Sorry, like my, my cable. 
So like I have a so I have a Oculus Quest 2 thanks to um, Mama Shadow for helping us out with that. And so it's opened up a door here and I'm using that door to help open more doors for more people to to do stuff in here. Yeah. So that's that's where I've been. Give me one second I will check your guys' comments as well. Also, I'm going to change my angle of the room here just so we can have that. There we go. So what is up? Okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely more than uh than just a game. Exactly, Toothless. Exactly. And Tricky, yeah, put another shrimp on the Barbie bite. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And so I wouldn't have met half of you guys in here. And I want to continue to do more in here. Because it's just... It's the active in act, like active in action, not in action. Like I'm not doing anything. It's like, even though I feel like I'm not doing much, I am doing a lot more than I thought I did, than I thought I would. And so, yeah, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot we've been doing. Hell, I think I'll show you guys what I've been doing in here. And yeah. Yeah. Where I don't have the skills to... skill. Well, I do have the skills, but I am limited by my program. I am limited by my program because I'm just using a free one where I can't fully adjust audio levels. Um, and then just the patience to make it a quality that I want it to be at. But... Let me show you guys who I am beyond Shadow Angel Shadow Wolf here. Let me introduce you to Electropunk. My character. Oh really? He's shorter. Is he really shorter? Hold on a second. That's something I gotta I gotta change here. Mm-hmm. There we go. <laughs> da, 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 da. So yeah. Greetings. My name is Electropunk. And I am a DJ. It is a pleasure to meet you all. And so, this is my DJ identity. Where, when I play, I play for the music. I play for the emotion. Last night, I had a pop-up music event that I was grateful to perform at. Thank you again to Paul and the Zenith team for creating that event and giving me the opportunity to play. Because I'm, I'm sure you guys saw on Friday, uh, where I was hosting Valentine's Day weekend, that my performance had gotten cut short. And that really, really dug into me and that really affected me hard. And so, I don't know if you notice there's a common trend here, but I tend to use a lot of robot-styled, faceless avatars. When it comes down to what I do, I prefer you hear the voice. Because of what I say and how I say it, it's, it's coming from here. But I was so heartbroken when my set that couldn't, couldn't finish because I worked so hard. To prepare and curate that mix and it was hard on me so paul gave me an opportunity to to play and yeah let me let me fix the focus here <laughs> there we go so yeah. Huh? Hold on. Oh, toothless. Thank you for the thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. <laughs> one mo <laughs> one step at a time. Thank you. Thanks, toothless. Thank you. We are we are so close. 
we were so close to reaching that goal and then just like it's right there and i know i know i'm gonna have to wait a couple months for for the rest of it to come in i'm okay i can wait it out i don't mind waiting it's just like it's right there Tricky wants to join? No problem. Come on in, mate. But yeah. And so... That's that's where it's at. That's where my mind is at. You know, I just want to do more in here. I want to help build a stronger platform. I want to help build this side of things. I want to help build this community. These communities here in VR. Not just my own. Where I don't have the words for it, where in a sense I don't matter. More in the sense of like, I want to showcase you guys. You guys are my focus. And you go, when I started this channel, I always said, it's not my channel, it's our channel. And I love to show off everybody I know, I love showcasing everyone that I know. That's what I do. <laughs> Why are you crawling, Tricky? <laughs> Hold on. Let me turn off the uh thing. Oh shit. There you go. There we go. Uh so okay. Um uh to be uh part of this community, um I've got uh what uh, two words for you is uh, it's you know um, nice speech everything like that so I've got uh, one completion to do which is it's been great and everything so I have to do one thing which is this what let's see and just Osha. Wait like a couple of minutes. Oh my god. Thank you. Hold on. Let me turn on my, yeah, my Twitch. Let me turn on my Twitch shit. Damn, dude. Thank you. Thank you, Tricky. Thank you. You're one of our biggest supporters on this channel. And I don't know how to say thank you enough, dude. You've helped us in so many things. Like, you helped us with our charity events, and just, you've been on this channel since, like, since I met you back in VR last year, dude. It's almost, it's already been a year, and I haven't done a proper, like, <laughs> year hangout in VR. But yeah. Thanks, dude. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, your mic's mute, uh, <laughs> muted, so I can't hear a word you're Shit. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> just, like, just thank you. I, I don't know how to say thank you enough for what you do on this channel. So, I'm yeah, just... I had to actually come in here. Uh, you, you know, you would uh, touch me, so I had to come in and, you know, kind of uh, do that while also doing that on your live stream <laughs> thank you thank you you're always supporting the channel man like and you're always and you're also helping everybody that we know too <laughs> like in... yeah, I, know. I mean <laughs> I just uh, try to be there for everyone and you know try to help me out and whatever There's no, there's no way I can say thank you more than enough, you know. That's why I'm always happy to have you on. And that's why, I, uh, that's why I'm doing my best to help you with your channel too, where to help you with your Pokemon card stuff, help you set up your OBS, just like it's the least I can do. No, no, I've got, I've got all that under the control. It's uh, just about me just uh, taking some time off. That's it. You definitely earned it, dude. You work hard every day. Like, even though, like, yeah, there's a lot of yeah. days where... 
Yeah, yeah last night I did 10 hours, so. Shit, dude. If there's someone You're I know that's super like hard work. Roughly about uh, three and a half hours sleep uh, every day, so. Shit, dude. You definitely that's deserve just some time. Hour old. Um... <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Like, if you guys don't know Tricky, Tricky's joined us a lot in our streams where he's <laughs> we do warlord wednesdays and we play some age of empires and we just get our asses handed to us in the first half but then we always round back and and kill it in the end on the medium bots <laughs> someday we'll, we'll handle hard bots but like today's not that day yeah and so yeah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah that's my yeah. And then there's a lot more games we can always play later on uh, when when things open up and, um, and like once I reach a little more financial stability through Twitch. But you know me, when I always say whenever it comes to things, I don't really think about the money. I always think about you guys before anything else. Where I already have a huge library and collection. Just let me know if, uh, what game you want to play and then if I don't have it, I'll get it, and I'll join you guys on it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. So, it's 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 just a lot. It's a lot. Uh, with me, I'm not a big talker, so you know. Um, <laughs> that's all I can say. Uh, but yeah. Um, just uh, enjoyed the show and just um, do what you like doing. All right. Yeah. And that's like uh, respecting everyone and making new friends. <laughs> Fucking hell, make me cry right here. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. I love meeting new people and just seeing what they've got you know i love bringing out the best of everyone i meet yeah that's what we do that's what we do you know. take deep breaths one two three <laughs> deep breaths. one two three i know normally i'm the one telling this to people all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah Shit. but i have to tell these to you <laughs> Oh shit, and we got a surprise guest joining us. We got Shrike coming in as well. I hope you have a tall enough model Shrike to join us. Let me see if I can fix the angle here. So yeah. Wait, where's my water bottle? Hold on a second. So yeah. But yeah, and so... There's just so much work to be done in so little time and... Yeah. I'm doing my best. And the reason why I can't move my arms is because I'm on PC. So yeah. Um. Uh, I've been too lazy to actually get the quest to um active. It's been like uh, I don't know a year. <clears throat> Sorry. Not even a year, dude. You've had, you said you you got your quest like a couple months ago. Hey, Hold I've on. Got the receipt. It says a year. Literally a year. Shit, dude. Again, I will help you set it up. Hey, and there's Shrike Killer. <laughs> One of the newer members on the, the team. Hold on a second. Nah, you're good. Oh, no, Here, I'm too short. Nah, you're just, just fine. You're just right there. Yeah. And so, like... Oh, yeah, okay. It's little mini-me. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Hold on. Let me let me see what, uh, what chat's saying here. I'm just a degen. I sleep every 10 hours for about four. Uh, I feel oh, so much work, so little time. Oh, yeah. Never stops adding up. Hey, if you need editing help, I need some uh, some Blender help. Most definitely. Yeah, Toothless. I'm also going to invite you to our, to our other server, uh, Monochrome, where, well, I guess to kind of plug it in, where I've been the team that I joined recently so we can have all these new worlds come in you saw the world that we went to last night, the the pirate ship, where essentially 
we're creating clubs and venues, but also our owner, Yes, is also working on like, well, Yes has pretty much built like all the clubs we've been at so far that we've built from foundations, the big hexagon world, um, to our, the solar sailor, the pirate ship world that we were performing at. And we're currently building another one already. So we're already gonna have a third club to play at. And we'll be cycling through these different ones to do different events every month. Like, oh man, I'm already, we just had our, like our first official event last Friday. And I'm already thinking of like what I'm going to do for March. And after that, what am I going to do for April? And like, it just keeps going. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's just part of how I operate. It's just like, I never stop coming up with things that I want to work on. And sometimes I, sometimes I just can't finish one project and it, it gets to me sometimes. But definitely when it comes to those worlds, like I'm okay with hosting pop-ups. And then if there are any DJs in VR who do want to practice or who want to like learn how to handle performing in front of an audience, you know, we're more than happy to take you aboard and just show you the ropes and show you how to perform, how to play. Just things like that. <laughs> Last night, actually, um, we were, when I was hanging out, uh, I met one of the Japanese DJs. His name's uh, Gentagawa. He's really cool. He uh, spins on vinyls. Like, big old records. That's and just like, cool. Yeah. So he did a hip-hop set last night for us. And so I want him to, to come aboard and just play uh, play for, uh, for, for March. For our March event. So we're working on that. And so I'm, I'm doing my best to coordinate everyone from around the world. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Toothless, if you want to join us in VR too, like we can go, we can go do a little little world tour of um of the different places we've made so far, if that's okay. I'd be more than happy to have you guys aboard. Hold on, let me grab the camera plate thingy. Just fix my focus here. There we go. Yeah. Uh, I would. Yeah, I would show you. Area. Yeah. Now I would normally do like a um. Hold on. Let's see. There we go. I'll tell you something weird. Ever since I installed Windows 11, everything's been running like astronomically smooth there. Nice. Yeah, I don't have Windows 11. I've only got Windows 10. <laughs> I mean, 10 handles well. But yeah. And so... Well... Let's go check out some worlds, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Well, I've only got like an hour and a half, so uh, let's go. All right. Let me see. Mono. Let the invasion begin. Yep. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is Foundations, which is the big nightclub that we are um, working on. Good morning, honey. Hi, honey. So feel free to hop on in. Okay. Yeah. All right. Also, let's see. You're hopping in. VR is being poopy. Don't worry about it. There is an update. You see mountain climbing up, and then it's just some rocks help see the thing. Yes. And welcome to the stream, um, Pro Shanker sixty eight. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining the Goon Squad. Goon Squad is is what I call my is what I call my community. Reason why we have that name is because um, I was playing Among Us in a mega club. Um, Hello, I'm back. Oh, hey. Um, also, yes. that said club Monaro then. Monaro. <laughs> My bad. Nah, yeah. you're good. My bad. All right. So, let me grab that camera. Oh, it's in a weird state of. Does not want to be read pro properly, so. So Club Mono, the gist of, the mo of Mono is, I wanted to create a community of creators and members of all backgrounds with the main goal of sharing knowledge and experience with each other. I want Mono to be a place where people can learn what they want to learn, 
do what they want to do, and be who they want to be. There's a hub world in the works that will have showcases for each person, group, or creative medium. So there's our Discord link. It's uh, I'll post it in the YouTube video when I do post this to YouTube, and I will actually go back in and post this to YouTube later. We're always looking for DJs and teachers, and there are more maps in the works. So feel free to reach out to me directly, and that's yes number sixty nine sixty nine on Discord with a capital Y, and I think there's a space between the E and the S. So yeah. Nerby, Nerby, hello, welcome. I'm not playing tonight. I'm just showcasing the world on stream right now. But yeah, oh, there we go. So yeah, so okay, here we go. So yeah, this is the foundations map. It's kind of big. It's not supposed to be empty normally there's like a giant screen right here that pops up so there's a yeah and then the floor itself is also a screen too the back wall here is where we're going to be saving for like posters as well as like um how do i put this as well as just um pictures of people who hang out in any of our maps so that's why we have the foundations map and Yes, doesn't want to keep the world. I'm okay with it. Like, I'm thinking we could still use this for more events. It's just supposed to be like a big old, like, lounge. Maybe if we scale it down a smidge. There are bathrooms here. I'll walk you guys through it. Because why not? So, yeah. You got bathrooms. It's, it comes with all your amenities. And, yeah. So, big old stage, big old bar. You know. It's funny. Because... When I was a little kid, one of the things I would... So, this is where the funny part of my uh, Sly Cooper half of my story comes from. Of, like, when I was a kid, I always wanted to own my own nightclub. So, this is just kind of, like, my small step there. There we go. So, yeah. And so, that's, that's where it's been. And the fact that... I'm also going to be... Basically, I have residency in all these venues. And so, I'm going to be playing. And I'll always be either the last one up on the lineup or the first one up on the lineup. I'm more than happy to showcase everybody that's going to be playing that night. Where... Um, there are bigger clubs like Ghost Club, Shelter, and um, Loner. Those are the three major clubs that are... Um, that are uh, part of the VR community, and they actually got showcased in the um, New Year's World, which I actually still have not seen yet. All this time, like we're already halfway through February, and I still have not seen um, the VR New Year's event world yet. Hold on, I need to check chat. Your stream crashed? Oh no, Cass, no. It's okay. It's okay. Oh yeah. But well, welcome, pro. Welcome, welcome. <sighs> and so, yeah. So, this is just one of our three worlds that we're going to have here. So, we played our first pop-up event here on January 23rd. Um, that night, we had Jazz Putin. We had Seta Akai. We had Turquoise. We had... Nox, Maiden Macabre, and myself. And then on to our next world. I'll I'll showcase that one in, in a little bit. Once everybody's like here. Yeah. And I have fun with it. I, I enjoy hearing everybody play every time I'm on. And sometimes I see one person's at one event, one person's at another event. I'm like, oh no. But my biggest thing is, like, you know, I like to stay for the whole event, catch everybody that's playing that night. Because I want to see, like, everyone, like, I want to see the whole theme through. I can't, there's only one, like, one time where I really have an issue sticking to just one thing. And that was just on Saturday, where, like, was it Saturday? I think it was Saturday this week, where, like, again, all my gear failed, and so... I ended up just doing a lot of world hopping, and so, yeah. 
I haven't really gotten seen too much outside the um the uh the DJ community as of late solely because I've had three too many bad experiences in public worlds. Now, I'm not saying public worlds are a bad thing. Like public worlds is where I've met a lot of great creators. It's how I delved into this community. It's just there's parts of it that I don't want to deal with where they don't understand that how this is as if you're, like you treat this as if you're still in real life what you say here affects not only you it affects those around you and that's a big thing as to me as especially as an empath is like where like sometimes people can say super hateful shit and it really sucks and that's the kind of stuff i try to avoid having on my streams sup nerby welcome to the stream hello hello Get some head pets. told me to say hi to you, even though yes. I already said hi to you. Yes, and welcome to the stream. Can, can, can you beat him up, please? Because he's um, promised uh, me, like, over a month, over two months now, to get on VR. <laughs> with hands. But they don't do it, okay? L listen, sir, chat. He told me, like, in December, oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get... <laughs> in two days, I'm gonna fix it. Uh, Look at him, he don't have hands, no, in <laughs> mid okay? I keep offering to help set it up. Hey, alright, yeah. alright. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's like sitting on the floor, uh, yes, I know, but. Um... It's better to sit on the floor uh... and on the roof, okay? Are you he, he, his brother? No, you're not, because no. your brother is. Why do you think we were brothers for? Because he offered you to set it up. It's pretty easy, uh, just do the thing. That's what friends, friends do. It's yeah. just what I do. I like helping people. <laughs> and then you yeah. are my friend. And you... Yeah. Actually, that's it's good. Speak if the camera's right here, then I'm facing straight forward. Yes. Right? It's a quest. How hard is it? It's just all the. It's just dealing with all the logins is garbage. So, wait, what are you using, Nerby? What 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 is your um headset? Are you a quest? Quest connected to the PC. Okay, yeah. It's just like you know. Oh, <gasps> lemon, welcome. Oh, hello, little one. Need a good internet and. I'm just giving you a heads up. We are actually live streaming right now. If you want to say hi to the hi to chat, I'm also gonna post it on YouTube later. Oh, uh, okay. Alone, okay. Have a good one, Lemon. Funny party. Okay. So yeah. Have a good night. Night. So that's Lemon. Lemon and Cry is a really cool, really cool player. They have a. Uh, they use a lot of adorable models. They usually use the like the robot model that uh, that Trike was using earlier. And so, to kind of give you an idea of our, um, all right, have a good one, Nerby. Take it easy. Yeah, you too. Next time I see you, I, I promise you, I'll smack you on the head at least once if you don't have your hand. That's why I'm avoiding VRC. Yeah, but that's how I can, but how else am I going to give you a high five? You can hear me slap my own controllers. But, yeah. I'm joking. I hope you understand, but it would be fun to have, have hands. Actually, that's another thing I could talk about too in the VR. So, another cool thing about VR chat is beyond just being part of an international community, there's also the mute community here too. So, they actually use like. And what? Who? Oh, Nerby? Yeah. Nerby. Yeah. With me because I haven't set up me quest too. I I mean you said it you're lazy <laughs> and you can't get you can't be stuffed to yeah. do it. Uh, yeah exactly. Yeah no I get you. But it is what it is. You do as you do. You go as you go. Hold on I can't check the time right now because OVR toolkit has been having an issue today. Okay it's one fifty. All right so that gives me just a hair more time to um. To prep up because 
in a little bit, I'm actually going to be doing a YouTube collaboration with um with one of uh, the Japanese uh, streamers I've met here. Uh, she is a VTuber uh, by the name of Anri, and she is very delightful. She is very lovely. So I'm going to go plug her in, in the chat later, um, and I'll also post her in the YouTube description when this does go to YouTube. But with that, let's hop on over to... Well, actually, so Shiki, you're going to like this. There's actually a game game drinking world, essentially, that uh, we can swing through. So it's like a, it's like a smaller um, drinking night, but it, it's got all the games too there that we can uh, that we can play. Side note: Yes, this is a lot of what reason why we say VR chat is a little more than a game. Come here for a second. Oh no! Where the communities in VR chat, it's. Our conversations tend to go into like more bigger topics as well as just like, you know, we wouldn't want like younger ones hanging out drinking around us or like hanging out around us while we're drinking. Like, well, basically the adults are drinking because, you know, it's a it's a two way street, essentially. Number one, it's not a good thing. Number two, uh, kids can like kids can get incredibly rowdy and a lot of that really causes a lot of issues. So to the younger um, to the younger viewers in my audience, if you happen to stumble upon this video, please understand that whenever we kind of avoid you guys in VR chat, it's not that, well, for some people it is, yeah, they don't like kids, but for the other half of it is, please understand that, like, you, we understand you're high energy, you're very high octane, I myself am high energy, high octane, but, like, you gotta keep it under control, especially if you're gonna be hanging out in, in a mature crowd like that. It's very disruptive in the things that we do because sometimes people are just having a conversation but then you can't have things like where people are coming like hey 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 you know and then like these little kids just being like what dude like i don't know you like come on i'm trying to have a conversation here with somebody <laughs> bye kind of thing you know like it, it's that that's just kind of part of the etiquette that's that i've been trying to kind of dig at especially when i was making my other video that i ended up not finishing editing i'm sorry so i'm kind of doing this in a live explanation vlog ish kind of deal where hello dev would like to join the main connection all right i'm in being invited to another world um hold on let me respond um with a photo Let me add a message. Okay, yeah, can't right now, but thank you so much. There we go, perfect. And so yeah, so that that's kind of like the big thing of the etiquette to VR chat and just how you talk with people in here, because it is a real like this is a reality in itself. You can't just say what you do here doesn't have consequences because it does. Anything you do has a consequence of some kind. And it will. So, and no, it doesn't have to be as grim as how I put it, but it's just how it is. Oh, yeah. Crashers? Yeah, it's like the PC crasher kind of. Yeah, oh. I have an avatar that does insane things, like pretty emotes. Like, yeah. They're, they're proxy based, so as long as you mm. don't stand by the standing peak too, you'll be fine. Yeah. Like, yeah, no. Like, I, using, I was like, I have to have this. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, fun, it's fine to have the wild and wacky avatars. Like, actually, this is this kind of goes to what the video I was making about it is like. It's okay to have the wild and wacky avatars. Just don't be using them in like as like your main go-to type thing. So fifteen percent, fifteen percent of the time I've been crashed. It's only because I've been moving, mm. trying to move while the crashing's going. But I've noticed if you don't move and just stay still, then yeah, most of the time you won't get crashed. And then when you start hearing voices again, then I move. Yep. And it's like, okay, now I can move freely. 
and then you you would see the whole room going, "Where is everyone?" Yep, they've all gone. And I, oh, again, oh, that's okay. the... I got away with the crash. You just have to stand still. Me, I can't see. Yeah, you do. Yeah, this this avatar is is, is not. I'm not gonna click on the emotes because they're disrespectful. Fair enough. I like the chair one. It's so cute. I I think uh, Wolf Raven was DJing one day. Introduced me and a friend to him, so we've been running around as little people. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Robots. But on to the uh, next world that we've built. Yep. All right, let's go. Was this public and that's why random people are coming in, or are these people that we knew? I said this to uh, Friends Plus. So, Lemon Cry, I know. Yeah, I've got more stuff on Green, and so is Shadow, so. Yep. Also, I do. I'm mates with him, and so is Shadow as well. Yeah, the interesting thing. Alright. New instance, Friends Plus, Shop Portal. But yeah. Oh hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Hop on in. I was talking about Nerby. Oh. Nerby was uh, just hassling me out, you know. Yeah. Go for it. I'll I'll, I'll get Lemon in if if Lemon wants to join us. Lemon, come on. Up. Let me in. Let me in. I dropped the portal. <sighs> I remember. There we go. Yep. Uh, and so this is the solar city. Yep. Well, I've DJed in both worlds, to be fair. Well, I've DJed in both worlds, to be fair. Yeah! Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. It's a pirate ship in yeah, space. Is, uh, the world that, um, Wolf, uh, DJ uh, mm -hmm. uh, On Friday. Friday night. Oh, shit. Yeah, yep. I've been playing a lot of Lost Art, so that's what my life has been consumed by, because it's Diablo and then Love, so why not? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I just found oh. out today that there was Twitch drop campaigns for, like, two special pets. And I don't think a lot of the U.S. players know about that. So I'm going to have two pets that people just don't have. Nice. Cool. You should stream it then, dude. Like, that way you can get, you can get people those drops. Yeah, I definitely should. Uh, I'm not sure if it's certain... Uh... I know they have like special, go like a special gold mount and something else that are only available if the dev players like made the game stream, which means you have to catch them on for like the one hour they do once a week. It's yeah, it's rough. I mean, it's doable. Oh yeah, but let me give you all a tour of the solar sailor. Ah, there we go. My camera. So yeah. So the whole thing that I had with the Solar Sailor was the idea behind it was I want to create a pirate ship in space or like, you know, the original concept name was the holodeck. And what's that? It's a juice box. Nice. So like the way I had it planned out was there would be like like a little kind of like cage scaffolding kind of thing. Oh, hello. It's a ball. Yes. It's a black hole ball. Oh, 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 oh. oh you there you go. That was all confused. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So, like, there's going to be, like, a cage thing. It would have the spotlights on there, and then the spotlights would be down in the middle of the dance floor. Dance floor would kind of have, like, a disco pattern on it. It ended up not doing that, but we still got the whole pirate ship in space thing. So that was a fun... At least we got that idea down. When you plug in someone's stream there, it'll play the... It'll have, like, a big old screen that you can use to, to DJ from. These drones here, actually, that you see flying around, those are actually cameras. Those are drone cameras. Yep. And uh, something that may hurt the, uh, that will hurt your bones as a, um, as a user is there are actually over 200 asteroids here, but they are very well optimized. So like, and they're all audio linked too. So yeah. And so we've hosted two, well, technically 
there has been two pop-up events here. Last night's was an incredibly unofficial pop-up event because I wanted to hear um, I wanted to hear some people play. So that's what I was saying when I heard Gentagawa play and Shim uh, Shimo play last night too. Shimo was a really cool streamer, by the way. You should go check her out. Um, she's a VTuber as well, and so yeah, I've been doing my part to to be part of the VTuber community as well. Now, going down here, let me give you all a uh, a view from the drones. So you may have seen it last time I was here. We had this, right? Well, check this out. Bam! Now you guys get drone cam. Hello. Actually, wait, can I see my wings here? Oh, no. It's... Oh, no, it's making a loop. It's okay. So, yeah. That's that's just one of the cool parts of um of the world. Now, we're planning on compressing it for sure, scaling it down. Our next our next venue is going to be a lot smaller by comparison, for sure. So that way we can um it'll be a little bit more closer to DJ, a little bit more intimate. But yeah. And so that that's that's our that's what we have planned so far of what we offer. So this is why I'm saying any VR DJs who needs a place to play, you're always welcome aboard. Feel free to contact me on Discord, on Twitter. I am very active on both platforms. Instagram somewhat, Facebook not as much. Yeah, but we're more than happy to have you aboard as long as you're willing to be the best you you can be, all right? As long as you got the heart for the music and you're respectful, that's all we ask, all right? So, yeah. Now, if there's one thing I was going to say that really sticks with me, especially on... Sun, yeah, Sunday yesterday when I played is I was so freaking out before my performance at the pop up. It was like, um, I am a machine where, yeah, so that's why I always pick robotic avatars. Oh, yeah, you know what? This is going to be a good time for me to talk about avatars and avatar creation, anyways. Is that like when you pick an avatar and you create an avatar? or you choose an avatar, like whether it's a public model or something you buy off of Booth or Gumroad or anything like that, is an avatar is a very big reflection of you. I like to think of that as like the extension. And this also applies to VTuber models, where it is the piece of you extended made manifest here in this digital space. So I pick robots a lot. Not only because I think robots are cool, it's also because like, you, most of the time they're depicted as soulless machines or like in a lot of movies and media, they are machines who are still learning to become or understand what it means to be human. That's more or less what it is with me. Is like, I used to be an incredibly emotionless person back then where, yeah. And so, but then I realized I have a big heart for everybody or I care about everybody. So that's that's the piece of me that I want to bring out. And the best of everybody that I want to bring out too. That's a lot of that. So. When it comes to it. And. Just being able to perform. When I DJ. When I hit those decks. I do it. There's two things that I do whenever I plan out a set. Number one is how does the music affect the story of this character? Where am I now? How, the, how is the music going to portray my emotion as number two? Especially with this character, with Electropunk, is that he is a robot brought to life by some strange means. And so we're going to be using that to, to tell his story. And I'm still working on it. And actually, I just thought of another character to go with him as both his companion and rival. So that's a fun thing. And I want to get it animated eventually. And so that's why 
I'm talking with artists like Nibla and um, and Agent Zyther, so that way we can work together on making the story come to life. And when it comes to Nibla, I want to, since she is an animator, I want to make sure she is paid for her time as well with the project. So working towards that. And then, yeah. And also thanks to Mark for, um, my buddy Mark for offering to help out with visuals in, in my performances as well. So I'm going to be reaching out to him more and hopefully like we can work together on making some stuff. Who is that? Has come into control. Hell yeah. Titanfall. Oh, I almost pulled my cable. I was wondering, I saw a giant robot in the background. Oh man, this would make a cool shot. You can actually get in. Yeah, oh. And I can also eject you as well. If you wanted to go flying. Oh man, if you want to go flying, I will show you how we can go flying. But yes, how do I get in? Let's go. I'm inside. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, this is weird. It is weird. I can do the check button if you want. Freaky, Go for it. Yep. Let's go. I, f I forgot I even had this avatar. <clears throat> oh my god, I need to clone this. How do I do it? I need to clone it. I need it. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on. Um, I have to inject uh, Shut I? <laughs> Sorry. Oh god. Go. Oh my god. Where's my camera is the question now. I, I don't know what to say about that. There we go. I... I can only imagine how that looked from your guys' view. Oh, you don't have cloning on right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to do it. Hold on. Let me see. 206. All right, cool. I'll have it as a shorter stream today for sure. This is glorious. Nice. I don't even know where I got this avatar from, to be quite honest. I think I got it off someone else. Oh, bro. Bro. <laughs> oh, you know what? While well, I have you guys on stream, I will. I will subject you all to uh, goats in space. So let's make this happen. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. I see it. I see it. I'm trying to get a photo of it right now. Oh god. I can't remember now. I can. I'm in. Yep, there we go. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me clone this. All right. Give me a second. Okay, where's my camera? No, 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 no. Get on. No, no. So get on Get on me. Now you get on Tricky. Tricky, get on, on top. All right. All right, I'm going to... I'm gonna launch us, all right? You guys ready for this? Oh, dear God! Oh, this is crazy. Oh, this looks nuts. I should have... Yeah. Epileptic seizure warning. Yes. And so that's actually a fun trick you can do with a... Uh, and launch yourself around. I'm going back to my... To my main. Oh, no. we done? I don't know. But yeah, no. If you reach up and and you sit on on whoever's above you, that's gonna happen. So yeah. But I think I'll leave it there. I think that's a good stopping point for the stream. Because I have somewhere to be in an hour, like I said. So, I'll be catching some more events, for sure, in VR. I'm going to be continuing working on my DJ stuff. 
our next event officially for Mono is going to be March 17th. I'm already planning everything out in terms of um, who's going to be playing. Um, there's no specific style that we want here. Like we, It's whatever you want to play. That's the big thing is like whatever you're, you have the most passion about, whether it's dubstep, techno, house, trance, whatever. Whatever defines you, you can play it. All right? You'll always have a place here. If you ever want to play one of the bigger shows, we'll do our best to make it as close as possible to that to that feeling until we can start doing that ourselves. We want to give you guys that chance. So yeah. I look up to a lot of those clubs too. Ghost Club, Shelter, Loner, Rizumu, DDVR, Wicked, Grost. Just the ones I can name off the top of my head. Clubs like those inspire me. And I want us to achieve those heights as well. At least for my half of it. And I know the other half of the team also wants to do more more stuff like the other clubs that we have here. So we're working on that too. Wait until you see what one of our other members has in store. They're going to build a mall. It's going to have a lot of games in there too. So a little bit of everything for everyone, all right? That's what we got. So yeah. So I'm going to cut the video short here. I'm going to end the stream here. And with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. And there's so much more forward to the future to look forward to. All right. There's a lot we're going to do. There's a lot we're going to make happen. So let's, make, let's work together on it, all right? I'll be posting the, uh, the Discord in the description below on YouTube. So that way you guys... If you guys want to learn anything from from us, that we can do our best to teach you. All right, we're gonna hold workshops and seminars on how to do Blender and Unity. I'll even help you with what I know uh, in terms of DJing. VJ, I don't have too much experience with, but and with streaming, I am more than happy to teach you what I know. Whether you want to get into YouTube, you want to get into Twitch, any of that, I have 10 years of experienced knowledge in it. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. All right? So thank you all for watching. Make sure to follow if you're new here on Twitch. And thank you again, Tricky, for the subscription. Thank you, Nikki, for letting me join you in Zenith tonight. I look forward to joining you and the Karuma clan. And yeah. So with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next stream, my name is Electropunk from Shadow Wolf Gaming. Signing out. Bye. Now let's find somebody to raid, shall we? <laughs>